Today's tutorial on how to develop APM32 using Eclipse. Development Board APM32 F030R86 Mini Board Debugger JLink and GHI Link Operating System Windows 10 64 bit OS IDE Eclipse IDE for embedded C or C developers Cross Compile Tool Chain GCC ARM 9 EB 10.3 2021.10.win32.exe file Build Tool XPAC Windows Build Tools 4.3.01 GDB Server Open OCD JLink GDB Server CLV 7.A0A At the bin folder of the Open OCD XPAC Windows Build Tools and ARM non-EB GCC installation directories to the PATH environment. Next, I will show you how to operate. Open Edit the System Environment Variables. Environment Variables. PATH. And at the bin folder of the Open OCD, XPAC Windows Build Tools. In ARM 9EB GCC installation directories to path. Open Eclipse for configuration. Open Eclipse Settings window and select a window preference. Switch to the MCU list and modify the configuration item with the global attribute. Switch to global ARM to a change paths where filled the bin folder of the ARM GCC installation directory. Switch to the global build tools path, where you can enter the bin folder in the make tool installation path. Switch to the global Open OCD path. Insert OpenOCD.exe into the executable and insert the bin folder from your Open OCD tool installation path into the folder. Switch to the global Segger JLink path. Insert JLink GDB server CL.exe into the executable and insert your JLink installation path into the folder. Download the APM 32F0 XX SDK file from GHI's official website and import it to the Eclipse project. I will demonstrate how to debug using JLink and GHI Link. 1. Open the Eclipse project in the SDK package of APM 32 and import it into the project. 2. Start build. Three, open debug configuration. Four, select GDB Segger J Link. Five, 
Select debugger and enter the part number you are using in DV's name. 6. Select SVD path and open the package in SDK to find the model you are using. 7. Then you can start debugging. 8. If you use Jihai Link, you need to select GDB Open OCD. 9. Enter F interface CMSIS DAP.CFG F target APM32 F0 XX.CFG in config options. 10. Select SVD path and open the package in SDK to find the model you are using. 11. Then you can start debugging. 